say something. I enjoy listening to you. God like the man who sits at her side, who watches and catches the laughter, which softly tears me to tatters. Nothing is left of me each time I see her. Tell me some more about my cousin. Oh, he's a scholar. He's a sinner. I don't give a damn for any principle or bloody master of arts. All I know is I'd lick them on their own ground if they just give me the chance. Your parents couldn't live together and nor could Sue's. A different generation. With the same curse over your heads. I've never told you about my past. I married Sue. Why are you telling me this? It's the only obstacle. I don't love you. I don't want to be your wife. Oh. Richard asked me to marry him and I said yes. I was thinking. But what? Don't know. <laughs> I noticed something extraordinary between the two of you. I kept telling myself it was because you were cousins, but it's more than that. I don't want to cause any trouble for you. Can't you see what she's doing? She wants you back. But do you want me? It's going to be like this everywhere we go, as soon as people find out we're not married. We move somewhere where nobody knows us. If they find out, we'll move on again and again, as long as it takes for the world to change. I love this place, even though I know it looks down on people like me, the self-taught, to determine. It takes two or three generations to do what I try to do. You're still Joseph the dreamer of dreams. Sometimes you're a St. Stephen who sees heaven open up even as they're stoning him. You and I are married. But not you in heaven. Are married if not in this church. World. You love me, Sue. Say it, Sue. Say it. Say it.